Hi, and welcome to the Market Alert for Friday, the 10th of July, 2015. And starting off in the five-minute chart, you can see the market there moving higher in the pre-market session. But as soon as the afternoon session opened, that's afternoon UK, morning New York, we can see that we have a sell PTI coming into the market there with prices moving down until we get a buy triple X. So at this point, what we would normally do is reverse the trade. And as you'll see from the results here, this takes us to around uh, 2.3 point loss on the first trade. And then the market uh, turns around and goes uh, south, taking the market below the 17,700 level there, uh, moving all the way down to the 17,650 level before finding support giving a loss of 25 points. The market uh, then puts in another sell and the market is uh, bearish at the moment but all things are going to change uh, from today uh, which we'll talk about in just a moment. So then we see the market uh, put in a, a second sell signal and again the market goes through the uh, 17,650 level all the way down to the 17,000 uh, 500 or 17,600 level uh, before stopping giving around uh, 92 points using the psychological levels and that's another reason why this one uh, they, they said the 20 point scalp were looking for the market to break which it did but in between we had the buy signal there the afternoon sessions or the evening sessions have become fairly quiet of late and again have uh, been ignored which uh, you'll see there because had you taken this trade you'd have only made up the profit on this one and then these two too late in the session so we're getting into a bit of a, a narrow sideways range there in the daily charts uh, yesterday you can see the market uh, coming back we've got what's called a pogo stick there which is uh, a bullish indication and you can see the markets up on the overnight session there as well in today's news, uh, Yellen is going to speak at 5.30 p.m. be out of the market at this time. Hopefully we'll have had the trades within the earlier session, the morning New York session, afternoon session in the UK anyway. Uh, certainly the market is very quiet generally on a Friday evening, except today for some reason I suspect it will be a little bit uh, busier. And uh, in the implied volatility, we've got uh, 16.93 for yesterday. And if we just uh, refresh this, 16.97 up slightly for uh, Thursday session there. And just coming back to why I think the market is going to be bullish, well, it's fairly simple really. We've got uh, Asia stocks gain as Greece creditors narrow differences, and also uh, the Chinese market is up sharply. And there's no surprise really if you want to see uh, the most epic market manipulation, you've got it at the moment in China. Uh, short uh, future selling is uh, limited. You've got so if you've got a five percent holding in any company, you're not allowed to sell that holding for the next six months, uh, just for starters. And uh, also, there was another thing that they were saying that you couldn't do as well. Let me just have a quick look. Uh, that was it. Uh, any large brokerage firm has to buy stocks they're not allowed to sell at the moment as well. So this is just. Uh, grotesque as far as uh, uh, the you know the free market is concerned it's not a free market anymore and it's the same in the US as well they are doing absolutely anything to keep these markets to the upside uh, but they can only do it for so long what with uh, the system going down for four hours and all open orders being cancelled it's just ironic that this never happens when uh, the markets going up 300 points that so they need to do so-called maintenance etc so there's definitely manipulation going on, there's no doubts about that at uh, the moment and it's blatant and overt in uh, China which we're seeing at the moment so that's why the markets are up. There's going to be a Greek deal, it's not going to help them one jot because we're going to arrive back at the same problem within uh, the next few months or the next year, it's just going to make it even worse for the the Greek people and the reason they're trying to stave off uh, leaving the, the Greeks leaving the Eurozone is because of the knock-on effect to Portugal, Spain, Italy and France as well who will want to receive a haircut on their debt so it's just keeping the illusion alive 
and uh, saving uh, any sort of European collapse at this point. But it's coming. There's no doubts about that. It can't continue with the debt that is being printed. And uh, I'll leave you with this, actually. If we just have a look at the um, the Daily Telegraph pages, show you how bad the, uh, the news, or rather the interest in the debt now, is um, the Telegraph actually as uh, the debt clock on its uh, main finance page. This is the UK debt clock, which you'll see uh, appear in just a moment. Move, just there it is. Now you can see 1.5 trillion, 5,000 pounds per second is being added to the debt in the UK. So when Osborne talks about uh, deficit and surplus, he's not talking about the debt, he's talking about income to expenditure. And there you can see we're just in we're in a far worse situation than Greece. The only difference is we can print our own, our own money, which we do every year to pay the interest on this debt. So uh, it's interesting that even the mainstream newspapers now are showing the debt clock for uh, the UK there. Right, that's it uh, for today. Ending on a cheery note, or a less than cheery note, but uh, it's a fact. Uh, again, the mainstream don't want you to know this. But uh, that's uh, what uh, the state of affairs is. And like I say, the global debt is so massive that uh, we are reaching a point where uh, we're starting to see the slide or the, the deleveraging of it starting off in China. And China is more of a concern than Greece, frankly, as far as the, the melting of stock markets are concerned. And again, that's why the Chinese government have put these measures in place to stop it from uh, falling apart completely at the moment. Right, uh, Greek deal will be done by the end of the weekend. Make no bones about that. So they're not letting it going to fall apart at this point. There's no uh, interest rate hike in the US coming either this year. there will be next year, which I keep talking about. It's never going to happen because they can't afford it because of the increase in the interest payments on the debt as well. Right, that's it uh, from me. I will see you in Monday's edition of the Market Alert. And uh, don't forget, Yellen uh, is going to be pontificating with usual rhetoric at 5.30 uh, this afternoon. See you on Monday. Thanks for watching.